All right, guys, after being completely frustrated at how to go about coding in CUDA, I've decided that I'm going to make it simpler for everyone else who comes after me uh, by outlining the process. Here on this site, CUDAeducation.com, as you can see right here, and then basically walking you through the whole process of how to, to, to get up and running coding in CUDA. Now, the first order of business is that you need to have an NVIDIA graphics card, um, whether it be on a laptop or a desktop, it doesn't, doesn't matter, but it has to be an NVIDIA graphics card and it has to be fairly recent card uh, because the assumptions I make in the programming environment that I'm setting up, it's, it's the highest um, capability. And I'll explain that later, but you need an NVIDIA graphics card. Um, I am running on a Windows platform um, I'm going to use Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition. So that is sort of the platform that I, I did this whole thing on. And that's what I know. And I can't really speak about any other um, platform or, or means of doing this. So, um, yeah. So if you, if you look at, at, at the first step, um, you need an, an, a CUDA-enabled NVIDIA graphics card on your laptop or desktop. Now you could visit this site right here. Oh, come on. You can visit this site right here and um, find out whether the graphics card you have um, enables you to, 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 perform, to use CUDA. So, um, you know, you're gonna go to this site, click on the CUDA enabled GeForce products Search for your graphics cards and see if it's listed. Um, you could, you know, do that through going to the device manager on Windows and then clicking on display adapter and hopefully you have a, an NVIDIA chip. So you go to the site, um, click on the CUDA enabled GeForce products and see if your, your card is there. Hopefully your card is there and it has a compute capability of 6.1, which is what I have and, and, you know, the assumptions I make going forward. So that's the, that's the first order of business. If you don't have it, or if you don't have a compute capability, that's fairly recent, um, somewhere around 6.1, I assume, um, you might have to go to the store and get a new laptop or get a new desktop with an NVIDIA graphics card that is on the CUDA enabled GeForce products list. Right. And hopefully it has 6.1 as the compute capability. Right. So why is the compute capability important? It's important because the programming environment that you're going to be using CUDA on assumes um, a 6.1 level. Um, from what I understand that the coding environment that you're going to be using is called CUDA Toolkit 9 right here. Right, so that's the latest sort of toolkit or programming environment that NVIDIA has provided the masses. And um, from what I understand, I'm not completely sure, but from what I understand, it allows, it, you, could use, you could use the toolkit nine on a compute capability of three or higher, but don't quote me on this. I can't vouch for it. I can only vouch for 6.1 because that's, that's what I'm running, right? Um, so that is the, you know, that, that's my take on the thing. I, I do have a, a, a access to another machine that had an NVIDIA graphics card and it had um, compute capability of 2.1 and it didn't work. Um, the, the CUDA Toolkit 9, it just doesn't work on that because it's obsolete and all that stuff. So that is, uh, that is the, the, the next order of business. Um, if you want to learn more information about the compute capability, you could go to this site right here, right? And it will uh, give you all the information you need in regards to what features it has and, you know, at different levels, etc. All right. So you have your graphics card, you checked your compute capability, you, you've checked that it's CUDA enabled. Next order of business, you have to download Visual Studio Community 2017, right? This is a Microsoft product and it is used to, um, to basically code, it's an integrated development environment, they call it, but it's, it's what you use to, to write code, right? So 
you download Visual Studio uh, 2017. Now this this download, um, you know, you do it for your your Windows machine. Um, you go to the site. This is the site right here, and um, you download the thing. Now it, it's gonna take some time because it's a big program and it's it's been around for a long time. It's only recently it, it, Microsoft made it free because they're just making so much money they don't need your money for this. So download it, um, and then once you download it, uh, you install it. Now, make sure that you have Visual Studio installed before you follow any of the other steps. Because, for example, when you're downloading the, when you're installing the CUDA Toolkit 9, it needs to be aware that Visual Studio is on your machine so that it could install all the integrations um, and, you know, basically make this tutorial work and make your CUDA code work, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, install Visual, uh, Visual Studio Community 2017, right? Um, now, during the installation process, you want to choose the top three items under workload. Uh, my mouse is so... Right, so you want to choose the top three items under workload during the in installation process, especially desktop development C++. That's important because I think that is the workload that um, <clears throat> the, the CUDA code is running on. Um, you also want to, you also want to download the universal windows platform and the .NET desktop, uh, development thing. It's all under the, the, the workload tab in the installer. So add those three things, install the program and, um, yeah, everything, everything should be, should be good up to that point. Now, after you've installed it. You have to go back, uh, restart your machine, whatever, whatever you have to do. Then you have to go back and you have to start up the Visual Studio installer again. Now, the Visual Studio installer is separate from the Visual Studio Community 2017. So what I usually do is um, uh, is I usually just go here into the search box and type in Visual Studio installer and it, it comes up, right? So let's just go. So when it comes up, you have to, um, give me a second. Right, so when it comes up, you have to do modify. Now modify might be here or it might be over here, depending on whatever the situation is. but. You want to do modify, right? And when you do modify, you want to go to individual components, right? And you want to scroll down to to this section right here, compilers, build tools, and runtimes, and you want to check off all of all of these guys right here. These are the tool sets that you need. Uh, the most important one from what from my experience is this one, but just just get all of them just in case. But this one is the most important one, right? The VC++ uh, 2015 V140 tool set x86 x64, right? This is the most important one, but just 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 add all of them. Then you're going to do modify. I, I don't have to do modify because it's already installed on my machine. But you're going to do modify and you're going to add, add these tool sets. It's very important that you do that. Okay. So that's basically that step. Right. And, um, right. And once you have done that, you just exit out of the installer. Right. Uh, do not, after you've, you've, um, updated or modified the program, do not run Visual Studio Community 2017 yet. Don't run it, please. You're going to create a problem if you do. All right, so the next order of business is download and install CUDA Toolkit 9 and all the relevant patches after the base installation. So you'll basically go here and uh, download the uh, 
you, you would basically download the CUDA Toolkit 9 downloads, right? So for me, it's Windows, it's 64-bit, and it's, um, uh, I'm Windows 10. <laughs> and I, I do the EXE local, right? And what you do is you download the base installer, you download it and you install it first. Then you download this and install it second. Then you download this and you install it third. Please make sure you do it in sequence. Don't, don't try and like download the patch first or, you know, whatever. Just do the, install the base installer first, then the patch one, then patch two. That's if, if your string of options up here um, gives you these things. Um, yeah, so that's, that's that basically. Um, now, when you're installing them, also, do not have Visual Studio running. Remember I said don't open Visual Studio, don't run it, don't do it. The reason is that when you're, when you're installing, especially the base installer, when you're installing it, it's going to want to install the Visual Studio integrations. And it will delay or stop you from doing it if Visual Studio is running. Um, and then not only that, even after you close Visual Studio, sometimes the installer uh, still thinks that it's open and it, it will prevent you from proceeding. So just don't run Visual Studio, close it. If you're still having a problem with the installer, you're going to have to restart your machine and, and run the installer again. But you, you don't want to do that because you follow instructions, right? And you didn't run Visual Studio community. Okay, so that's that. Uh, and, and again, you could you could always go to this site if if you you know want to just look at the red version of, of these instructions. So then after you do that, after you've installed CUDA Toolkit 9, the base installer and all its patches, then you could start the Visual Studio Community 2017. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to File, New, Project, and on the left sidebar, you're going to click the arrow beside NVIDIA and CUDA 9, and then you're going to run it. But I could just talk about it or I could show you. So let's see. Okay. Okay, so go to new and then project. Now you see here the NVIDIA is already open for you. It might not be, but you just hit that, hit that, hit that. And then I'm just going to call this 14, right? and then go okay. Just leave everything as default, don't change anything. And what it's gonna do is it's going to create a CUDA project with some default code. Now, our goal in life is to run this code and pray to God that we don't get any errors. So see, there's a whole bunch of default code here, right? And um, what I do is I just do rebuild solution. And of course it doesn't run, right? Coding gets very intimidated when you're just trying to follow a simple process and it doesn't run. Okay, it doesn't run. The reason it doesn't run is because you have to change the tool set that Visual Studio is using to compile, com compile or run this project. So you see, platform tool set, Visual Studio 2017 version 414. We're gonna change this now to that 2015 guy right here, 
Now I'm not running XP, so I, I haven't tried it with the XP, but I'm gonna do this one, right? I'm gonna go apply and I'm gonna go okay. And then I'm gonna try and rerun it again. You can see it's busy. Rebuild all succeeded, right? So it has successfully done once I change the tool set. Then I go to debug, start without debugging. And look at that, it runs. And there you have it, guys. You are now officially running CUDA code. So uh, you could start tinkering with, with this code right here. This is the main function. You notice that it's kernel.cu. Um, this is the main code right here that you could do whatever you need to do. I think what it's doing is just adding two arrays. Um, where is that magic? Kernel, right. Here is a kernel uh, call, right? That um, launch kernel on the GPU with one thread for each element, right? So this, this is like the magic uh, thing that makes parallel processing all happen and is so cool, etc. And there's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff, but basically you're now you're now at a place where you could you could run code or run CUDA code and you could get examples off the web or you could uh, come back to my channel and uh, learn about other things I'm doing as I myself develop my skills. And that's about it guys. Now, one last thing, I'm not done. Uh, you gotta help me out. I can't do this alone. It takes up my time and energy Please donate and subscribe to my channel. My YouTube channel is CUDA Education. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do a Twitter account and all that. Um, oh, actually I do have a Twitter account. Yes, it's CUDA Education on Twitter. For those that are on Twitter, it's CUDA Education. This is the website, kudaeducation.com. I will be making more videos and more tutorials as I develop my skills. Um, it's a, it's, it's a, in my opinion, it's a language of the future. And uh, there's a lot to look forward to in the um, in this new era. So please donate. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, you could uh, just contact me in the comments if you want to, if you have any questions, or you could always leave a comment here. I know you have to sign in and all that stuff, but at least I know you're really interested. And uh, that's about it. Um, I need to change this to a lowercase n and an uppercase v, don't I? That's kind of odd here. But yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, this is CUDA Education. Thanks for watching.